Meanwhile, Japanese rescue workers are continuing their search for survivors today, three days after the devastating mudslide that swept through the coastal city of Atami, killing at least four people and leaving two dozen others missing. Tyra Lu is following this developing story. Tyra. More than 1,000 soldiers and rescue workers joined an increasingly desperate search today for survivors in a Japanese resort town devastated by a landslide three days ago. Four people have been confirmed dead after the disaster in Atami in central Japan, and officials said they were still unable to clarify the fate or whereabouts of 24 other residents. Rescuers strolled through destroyed homes and waded across vast piles of mud at the very end of the 72 hours that experts says are crucial in the race to save lives. The landslide descended in several violent waves on Saturday morning during Japan's annual rainy season. It followed days of intense downpours in and around Atami, which is around 90 kilometers or 55 miles southwest of Tokyo. City officials said Monday they had identified one of the dead as 82-year-old Chiyose Suzuki. Her eldest son, Hitoshi, 56, told Kyoto that he regretted not bringing his mother, who could not walk well with him when police told them to evacuate. Suzuki was taken to hospital by rescuers but died there. The disaster is an added trial as authorities prepare for the Tokyo Olympics, due to start in less than three weeks. While Japan is still in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, with cases steadily climbing in the capital and experts su suggesting a need for another state of emergency, Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga told reporters that rescue workers are doing their utmost to uh, rescue those who may be buried under the mud and waiting for help as soon as possible. Three Coast Guard ships and uh, six military drones were packing up hundreds of troops, firefighters and uh, others toiling in the rain and fog. Atami reportedly recorded more rainfall in 48 hours than it usually does for the whole of July. And survivors told local media they had never experienced such strong rain in their lives. Scientists say climate change is intensifying Japan's rainy season because a warmer atmosphere holds more water. In 2018, more than 200 people died as devastating floods inundated western Japan. And last year, dozens were killed as the coronavirus pandemic complicated relief efforts. Reporting from Tokyo, Japan, this is Taruno Pilyulu for Eagle News. We live in interesting times. In other